The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has called on the Ghanaian authorities to provide information about the 2005 massacre in Gambia. The massacre resulted in the deaths of around 60 migrants. On July 22, 2005, 44 Ghanaians, 9 Nigerians, 2 Togolese, and nationals of Ivory Coast and Senegal, who had just landed in the country on their way to Europe, were arrested and executed by Gambian security forces under the regime of former dictator Yaya Jame. Since this tragic event, the families of the victims have denounced the lack of response and negligence of the Ghanaian government in seeking justice despite the fact that a team was sent to the scene immediately after the incident. Several official investigations were launched after the massacre, but the results have remained confidential. The families of the victims are now demanding to see these conclusions after facing numerous obstacles at the time. At the moment, the evidence needed for prosecution exists thanks in particular to the Hearings of Truth and Reconciliation Commission set up in Gambia in 2019, according to a lawyer who is part of the Jame to Justice Collective. This commission heard from members of Jame's death squad, nicknamed the Janglers, who detailed the arrest and execution of these migrants directly implicating Yaya Jame. It is clear that these acts were ordered, known and approved by Jame. In its recommendations, the Commission called for persecution of Yaya Jame and 11 of his accomplices for their role in the massacre.